thing that is because I rebought it on my 3DS for the Virtual Console, and I love that I can go around with my because I travel every year, so I love that I can play Earthbound on vacation and stuff, and I have. So my question is, what platforms are you hoping to get Circa Dean on? So, um, I am hoping. The game will 100% definitely be released for PC, Mac, and Linux. Okay. I can 100% do that. Um, and I am hoping to do, if there will be a console release, Nintendo Switch, 100%. That is, nice. that, is, that is the first goal as far as console support. Awesome. Um, and then hopefully from there, it would be the um, uh, maybe the 3DS if that can happen. Oh, and I'd get it on both. <laughs> I'd get it on the Switch <laughs> and the and the three DS. <laughs> and uh, and then, respectively, the PlayStation Four and Xbox One X or whichever one they're on by now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even. I yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> but awesome. So yeah, yeah. So those are goals, but um, that's probably where Kickstarter would come in because right. I anticipate able to self-fund the game no problem for a pc and uh linux and mac release but um i do 100 percent plan on um hiring a third party to develop to uh port the game to consoles because well what i've learned working at game startups is that you don't mess around with trying to port a game if you don't know what you're doing you hire people who know what they're doing right that's, that's very complicated. it's very complicated. it's more complicated than you'd think uh, to put it on uh, consoles and um, so uh, uh, Kickstarter or not I might just uh, self fund getting it onto the Nintendo Switch because I feel like that's where the game belongs right awesome and and you know it's true as we said before it's the marketing and and you know all the all the stuff after you make a game is is surprisingly difficult and that leads me into my next question um about circa dean though uh what will the difficulty because actually this is something that's it's funny i'm not i'm kind of part of the generation where games started to get easier but they were still pretty hard in my opinion i i am terrible at snes games <laughs> nes games i find them very difficult i still love playing them but i'm just not very good at them so i wanted to know what will the difficulty of Circa Dean be like? Will it be easy, medium, challenging? Heck, will, will there be a difficulty option? You know, I'm not certain because um, the game isn't, right now, it, it isn't balanced because uh, uh, I'm building all the content and so um, I, I'm planning on it being not too difficult, but there might be, say, some side challenges mm. is what i'm thinking so, so things that aren't required to do but to get the full experience it might be a little harder right. um you know maybe you could beat the game and then realize you missed out on a whole bunch of stuff and you, um go back and it, it might be a little more difficult so i'd say it will probably be from medium you know doable to hard nice okay i like that especially because like earthbound and undertale have that that theme too earthbound is in my opinion earthbound is not an easy game i've i have yet to successfully run through earthbound without dying um i always mm -hmm. i i cannot i cannot do it <laughs> and um surprisingly i'm better at earthbound zero than earthbound so which is shock well, shocking because usually it's the opposite but um but yeah i like that because because even undertale too i Actually, I did a Let's Play of Undertale on my channel, and I never finished beating, um, ah, I can't forget, I can't remember her name, um, uh, uh, Undyne, and, um, you know, in the genocide run, I, I can't beat her, I can't do it, and so I've never even faced, um, you know, Sans, either, so, and he's, he's supposed to be very difficult, so, um, so absolutely i like i like that i like that you know it's gonna be you know medium and and then challenging and awesome sweet i'm looking forward to it all right so um, 
Oh, sorry, what's that? I'm actually going to talk about a feature uh, I forgot to mention that it will be original to Circadian uh, and that uh, people probably don't know about. It's, um, you know how in Earthbound, when you defeat an enemy, uh, your dad puts money in your bank account? Right. Mm -hmm. um, I always found that, oh, maybe not always, but recently I found, what, probably when I was programming it, I was like, this doesn't make sense. How can your dad have this infinite amount of money? And so, <laughs> right. and then eventually the money becomes not even important because you have so much of it if you do enough battles. So what I decided to do is that if you want money to automatically deposit into your checking account as you defeat enemies, you have to open up a loan. Oh, um, wow. I like that. You could go to a bank. You could go to a loan shark. Uh, there'll be a variety of places you can go, and the money will come in as you defeat enemies, but then once the loan is is done, uh, the money will stop coming in, and then loan sharks will start hunting you down and asking for payments and battling you if you don't have any money for them. That is genius. I love that. <laughs> that it just kind of came up organically when I was programming it. I was like, how would I get money over time, you know, and realistically, you know? Right. Well, hopefully no one's come at you and attacked you for, for not paying a loan. <laughs> <laughs> My finances are okay, so. <laughs> good, good. As long as we don't have any personal experience. <laughs> I love that, though. That's an awesome idea. All right, so we have reached, we have actually been recording for, for quite a while, and I have to say, I'm, I don't even want it to end, but we are actually at our final topic and uh, our final questions. So uh, this is actually question number 13. What is the most difficult thing about being an indie developer, would you say? So um, it's exposure and uh, money. Right, right. No, I know. I'm sorry. I know we kind of talked about this earlier, but you know. Yeah, but that's just reality. Um, you know, you you have to do you have to do what's going to sell. You know, and that's that's actually what's interesting is that um, I kind of failed to do the market research for my other products, and they didn't sell very well in the uh, the last the last three games I made. Um, they, you know, the, the market just wasn't there and uh, I, I failed to do the market research. And so, um, and the, the funny thing is like the, it has to come from when you make a game, that's going to be good as an indie developer, it has to come from the heart. Right. And that's, what's kind of funny is like when I started making circadian, um, it came directly from the heart and I was doing this because I loved it. And, uh, um, I kind of was my own market, you know, target audience. I, I was the audience. And so I realized like, wow, look, look at this. Uh, and I talked about how Earthbound's kind of becoming more popular due to things like uh, Undertale. And, right. and so I realized like my best bet at being an indie developer is to do Circadian. And that's, it just kind of came out of nowhere. And so um, the difficult thing is that you have to do market research and you have to make things that sell. Otherwise, it's just a hobby because it won't be successful. Right. And so there's, I think there's two ways to do indie development is to make a game that you love and are obsessed with and it doesn't matter, the money doesn't matter. Um, and then the other way is to do the market research, find the funding, uh, find your target audience and, and sell to them, you know? Yeah. Um, so m the most difficult thing is marketing and finding your audience. Awesome. Well said, well said. So going back to Circadian, uh, um, now you've already told us a lot that I don't think a lot of people know about Circadian. You, you were nice enough to share a lot of things with me that people don't know, which is awesome. But is there... So don't feel like you have to, because I don't want to spoil it. Is there anything else you can tell us about your game that we don't already know? Hmm, um, not, not anything on my mind. I've pretty much spilled my guts at this point. Yeah, because you've, 
I, I was gonna say you've already shared a lot with us, you know, about um I don't think people knew about the Already, you've already answered this question. <laughs> Two videos around with the day night cycle, um, but yeah, the the reason people don't know about a lot of stuff is just because they haven't played it. I've been really secretive about like not secretive about the game itself, but like I haven't really released it to anyone. Right. Awesome. All right. So this question is is a question. I think many people, and of course including myself, are, are very much wanting to know. Uh, what can we do as the fans to currently support? And will there be a Kickstarter in the future? So to support me, right now, what you can do is tell your friends about it. Tell your friends about Circadian. Um, and then follow me on social media. You can find me at twitter.com slash jeffgamedev. Yes, um, which, by can, the way, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm going to post everything in the in the description below, so I'm sorry. No problem. I appreciate it. Uh, find the Facebook page. Uh, it's facebook.com slash circadiangame. Uh, join our Discord chat. You can find it at discord.gg slash circadian. Um, go ahead and uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'm instagram.com slash jeffgamedev. Um... And then, uh, uh, go, you can go to the website, uh, circadiangame.com. Um, just, you know, follow me wherever you can. There's a, a mailing list. Sign up for the mailing list there. Uh, you can get updates. And, um, you know, uh, send me a message, you know. Uh, every Everything helps. Um, especially, I think, uh, joining the Discord chat helps a lot because Discord is a... Is a chat network for gamers and for game developers, mm -hmm. and you can get in direct uh, contact with me. Super easy there. Um, you can I I'll, you can contribute to the discussion about the game. You can ask me questions. I'm there every day. Um, and will there be a Kickstarter? I certainly hope so, and I do plan on it for in 2018 and man that's coming up soon that's what 2018 is one month away but i'm thinking summer of 2018 okay awesome all right so so we've come down to the last question are there any words of wisdom you could give to aspiring game developers you can do anything and you need to learn how to program <laughs> if you don't know how to program you need to learn and do not be afraid of programming. The thing is, like everyone thinks anyone who doesn't program thinks they can't do it. And that's just wrong because humans built software and programming languages. And the reason we did is because we know logic. Logic is built into our brains. And um, we're in a, a very much changing world that. Uh, you know, programming is going to be so valuable right. in all fields across the world. And so I'd say get your hands dirty. Do not be afraid and make what you want to make. And if you're starting out, you're going to make a hundred games before you make anything that anyone wants to see. <laughs> yep, that's, that's very true because I have a ton of small games I've made that I've never finished. <laughs> so that is that is so true. That is absolutely true. It's wow. so typical. And do not do not get discouraged. Just think of them as learning experiences because that's all they are. You know, when, when you start to, you know, when you're learning to draw, you're going to draw 100 pictures before anything is good. You know, it's just the same thing. Right. Practice makes perfect, as they say. So, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Jeff, this was awesome because we literally – almost reached an hour of <laughs> in this interview and i was i was hoping it was going to be 11 minutes but i have to say i much i much more enjoyed this <laughs> than than what i could have gotten out of 11 minutes and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video too i don't know how long it's going to be i'm probably going to do a little editing magic but other than that i kind of want to keep most of what we said because it sounds good but anyway guys um i'm going to post links to uh jeff's um, 
Jeff's everything. <laughs> his his website, his Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Discord. Because you guys should totally go support Jeff for this game. I think, uh, and really what you should do is, because as you've been watching the video, you've been seeing little clips and sounds of, of his game. I, I just think it's coming along so well. And I, I honestly, I have no doubt that this game is going to be a really well-made game. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Jeff, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Jake. It was a pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. Well, guys, uh, just before I end the video, I just want to say thank you so much, Jeff, for you know being in this interview with me. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I really hope you found this stuff interesting. Everything I got was from either from Jeff personally or from his website or um, from his Twitter posts or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, so thank you guys so much. I have a great feeling about Circa Dean, and I really feel like it's going to be a great game. And I really hope that if you watch the series and you like it, you know, you'll follow uh, Jeff's accounts, which I'm going to put in the description below, and you will support it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, take care.